CataractCoach.com. Remote Capsule Access Training. It's the world's first remote digital dry lab. I recently had the opportunity, through the courtesy of Professor John Ferris, to participate in the world's first remote learning digital dry lab. So I was here in Los Angeles, and there were doctors in training in the UK who were using a surgical microscope in their own home and using the internet connection to broadcast to me their creation of a capsular axis in a Model I. And I could guide them remotely, and we had a fantastic time. We had a handful of young doctors, all did great and really improved their skills. And I think this is something very important. This is the way you can do things in the future. You can have a coach like me helping you and coaching you from many thousands of miles away. And I wanna show you the video, check this out, and we'll talk more at the end. Remotely supervised capsulorexis simulation session with Uday Devgan, the cataract coach. Using Zoom video conferencing, we ran this simulation session with four trainee surgeons at home in various locations in the UK. Uday was able to join us from LA to give us live feedback and tips on our capsular axis techniques using Model Eyes from Philips Studio. We used a Semi 305 microscope with an Axia cam as the camera feed for the Zoom call, so the supervising surgeon can simultaneously see the microscope feed and discuss methods for improving practice. Being able to pin different video feeds means the trainer can watch multiple surgeries at once, or just one individual feed. Now watch for some clips of our supervision session. And now look at your tip of your force and trace the circle way better. That looks perfect now. And I can do the same thing. Now re-grab. And now obviously your base is towards the right and your tips are to the left. Perfect. Yeah, fantastic. And I hear the end. Keep keep tracing it. Don't pull centrally. Keep tracing it like you're doing it. The, the Rex is even has to go around one more time. Then you'll finish it and you won't be able to see it. It'll be there. Now it's perfect. So if you have a spot that's irregular, just just encompass it or encircle it with the new rexus that you want to do. Now I usually do a counterclockwise rexus, but there's some cases where I just I go clockwise. It really doesn't make a difference. Kind of habit, but I take it as it comes. So here you're making it a little too small, so you, so you're not used to going this direction. So look how close it is to the pupil margin on the left, and now looks superiorly. So it became a little small there. You're doing a great job, good, and keeping that thing pivoting looks great. So this is a good one for a good take-home lesson, which is take it as it comes. And so in this case, you tried to, you broke, punctured into the capsule and tried to tear it in one direction, but the other spot wanted to tear out. And that's okay, just take it. And the key here at the end, it's an intact round rexus. There's no loose edges. Flip the pivot, so now as you go across the incision, Tips go one way, base the other, perfect. But now don't pull centrally. Remember, pivot more and trace the perfect rexes with those tips. That's exactly, exactly right. Trace the perfect rexes with the tips and the flap will follow. And the good news for you guys is, even after doing this 20,000 times, I still really enjoy doing rexes. It is still fun. <laughs> Cataract surgery is like the video game that even 25 years in is still fun to play every day. What's your favorite yeah. part of the surgery? Kind of my signature. I mean, I love making that just beautiful incision and that beautiful rexus. Because again, right, even a year later, the corn is when someone else sees your patient, the corneal edema is resolved, the inflammation is resolved, and all they're going to see is how pretty was your incision, how pretty was your rexus. So again, you know, as you know, that's my that's the signature right. that every surgeon leaves on the eye. So I like to have a really pretty signature. Poke in more until your shirt poked in, and then just close the forceps. And by definition, you're grabbing the capsule. Now move the cap. There you go. I see. Yeah. Great. Doing a good job. Grab that. And then pivoting it over. You got to get keep it. Remember, you want it, that flap to be flipped over. So try grabbing the forceps and maybe pinch them a little harder because it looks like they're losing grip. Doing it, great, great, great. So here's where we have to get it turned around now. Yeah. So gra grab it there real hard, don't let it go, and you gotta flip your forceps. So the tip's gonna go to the right, 
and the base of your instrument is going to go to the left. Good. I like that. So try to grab one more time. Hold tight. Don't let go. And flip the pivot again. Tips are going to go to the right, and the base of the instrument should go to the other direction. Exactly. Keep it going. Look at the tip. Trace that circle. Now re-grab. Uh -huh. And then again, the tip of your forceps should trace a perfect circle. Go, go, go. Perfect. Look at that. You're doing it. No, no, keep tracing the circle. So re-grab and trace the circle. Avoid pulling it centrally. Just put, trace, exactly trace a perfect circle. Beautiful. It's much better that way. It's much easier to control and it looks really, really circular. Oh, fantastic. I know you said you're just starting off, but you're a natural. <sighs> So nice and easy, now flip the tip, the tips have to go to the left, the base to the right, keep that pivot going. Beautiful, last grab, and we're gonna finish this up. So now it wants to run out. So now you can actually do the little maneuver here. So yeah. grab it and pull to the right, and that should bring it back in. Just the fact that you guys are sitting here doing this and practicing means everything. Because it's, it's that skill. I, I hate to tell you, your learning is not going to stop when you're done with your training. Thank you to Dr. Devgan for his supervision and words of advice. This remote supervision setup is easy to put together and hopefully there'll be more opportunities for teaching like this in the future. SimulatorOcularSurgery.com is the website. And you can see this website is devoted to teaching you surgical skills in a wet lab or a dry lab prior to going to the operating room. If you click on the About Us tab, you can see there's Professor John Ferris, who's helped us with this remote CAPS-REX's learning experience. And you can scroll down to see the other faculty members as well. So an all-star team here. Now go to the gallery, and you can see these are all the different modules. That's one we did, the remotely supervised CAPS-REX's training. But look at other ones, the glued IOL te techniques with Tom Oding. You've got Zoner Dialysis. You've got SICS videos. You really have true experts here teaching you very complicated maneuvers. So you can really get your hands trained prior to going to the operating room. So lots of good videos here, a lot of good programs, and they also have these products, these simulated eyes. And here at the bottom, you can click on their Instagram link and follow them. And you can see this is their Instagram page, which was just started. And be like me, and I'll click on this follow link, and I'll start following them. So check it out. And thank you for watching.